All right. So ladies and gentlemen, what I asked you to do for a pentagon is I wanted you to tell me what is the sum of all the measures of the interior angles and what is the measure of one interior angle of a regular pentagon. All right. So there's a couple things we need to make sure we understand. First of all, when we're determining the sum, well, actually, let's talk about two different types of pentagon. This is what we call a regular pentagon. Right? It's regular because all the angles, supposedly, are the exact same measure, and all the side lengths are the exact same measure. I know that doesn't look like the best pentagon, right? But it's OK. Then here's an example of an irregular pentagon. Right? But you guys can see that the side lengths are not all the same, right? So Zach, when you're looking at this and you're trying to determine what is the sum, there's two formulas we talked about. And these are what you guys need to do. So this is irregular. So you need to make sure you know what the difference between a regular and an irregular. But it doesn't matter if it's an irregular or, e or a regular pentagon. It doesn't matter what type of polygon you have. The sum is always going to be this formula, s equals n minus 2 times 180 degrees. Always. It doesn't matter if it's a regular or if it's irregular. Your sum of the interior angles is always of any polygon is always going to be in this form, where remember, n represents the number of sides. So we say a pentagon has how many sides? Five. So we say s equals 5 times 2, 5 minus 2, sorry, times 180 degrees. So s equals 3 times 180. So therefore, the sum is going to equal 540 degrees. That means the addition of every single interior angle is going to add up to 540 for both of these, for both of these um, pentagons. However, the next question I asked you was find the measure of one interior angle right, of a regular pentagon. And the reason why you have to say regular, ladies and gentlemen, if I say this is 90 degrees, right, would you guys also say that that's the same measure? No, right? That's an acute angle, right? That's definitely less than 90 degrees if that's 90 degrees, right? But remember, we talked about if these are all the same, right? So if I say the measure of all these angles is 540 degrees, that's equally divided between all of these angles. And how many of these angles do I have? Five, right? Which is the same amount as the number of sides. So if I want to find out what is just the measure of one angle, what I do is I use this formula, n minus 2 times 180 degrees divided by the number of sides. Well, we already know what the sum is. That's 540 degrees divided by 5. Right? So now if I take 540 divided by 5, I'm going to get the measure of each angle of a, of a regular pentagon is going to be 108 degrees. OK? And there you go. All right, last question. I need to.